door, but I missed the door. I guess I should use that. Hello? Good morning, sir. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen. listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Um. I was just getting ready to head out, if it's okay. Would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Um. Oh, um. I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self defense. Self defense? Um. Well, I mean. Whoever's keeping us here could show up in a text at any time, you never know. Whoever trapped us here? Whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other? Whoever put us in this same position? She's right. We never know when they might attack. Um. So I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect myself. Well, now I think about it, the display case in the gym entry had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym! That, okay, let's go. Like Again? I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I, why didn't they do a voice for that? Because she says that all the time, too. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, send it to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around school, we've got some good news. You know, third voice isn't there. Oh, I'll it. I mean, I might when it's like more than one floor, but I mean, it's just there. Eh. Where's the gym? Is it? Yeah, it is this way, so I talk to them. Okay, let's give it out. It's too What's your problem? You need to <laughs> let, let me make this perfectly clear for you. Me hanging out with. With two people who have muscles where the, the brain should be is not by choice. Wow, that was super mean. Mm. Yesterday you were complaining how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with, <laughs> with us. I never I asked you to d d do that. Just stop trying to drag me further into your meat dimension. Jeez, mm. I can't believe she just ran off. You think I should, we should go Wait. after her? We shouldn't pressure her any further. Well. Oh yeah, good point. Like water and oil. Anyway, it'd be weird if they did get along. Is she in here with us? So I know what we're talking about. We're talking about that. Sword. Is this the sword? No, no, I think it's just a record. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in gold coats, but... Jeez, I barely touched it. I've got all that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think that's a little... Well, it'd still be better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um. You should take it with you. It might help liven up the room a little. You think so? <laughs> well, I guess you should be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything. I could really use for self-defense. Hey, d don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, the time comes up to it. You'll protect me? Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need that weapon after all. Sierra so giggled as you said that. That mysterious smell. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can't stop. We can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Uh, hmm. I know I said I wanted to talk to you. Now that we're here, I don't really know Sorry. what to talk about. It was like I was the one who invited you to come with me too. Sorry. 
Sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? We don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off in space or whatever. Stare off in space? Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um, no, it's not that boring. It's just... I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to do just nothing. I... Uh, I, I guess that makes sense. If you're not a normal high school student like me, you've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? <laughs> well, what about you, Sirika? What's your dream? I'd love to hear I... it. I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star. As long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. My dad worked really late every night I was always home alone I was just a kid you know but I was really lonely but that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time she was so pretty like a princess and she could sing and dance but more than anything else that was her smile looking at her smile I could tell my no I could feel my loneliness melting away I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream? Honestly, it's really honestly it's really incredible. I I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant, huh? You see, I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter um. what. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current, even without taking time to dream. That's the kind of world my dreams live in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun oh, at all? No. Don't get the wrong idea, it's super what? fun. But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um. I enjoy it every single day. I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much but happiness. That's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. So, Sayaka, she's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of you losing see. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um. Well, they said that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Well, I'm in here. The world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still. Sayaka? Um, you seem to have got stoned suddenly. Are you, you okay? What? Oh my god, it's fucking Medusa. I can't afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep in within herself. She sounds desperate, but I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way. The dream she must she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying. I can't even sorry. imagine it. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um, I kinda killed the mood, huh? N n no, not at all. I'm really sorry. Um, Siaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So, okay. you want me, 
You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean a condiment? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her ready mood disappeared, replaced by a bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of natural expression. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat, before returning to our rooms. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more comfortable. Uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're better have your first experience of free time. Would you like to hear more? Uh, no, because I know what it is. Free time is basically you can talk to anyone. Actually. Okay, so exit here. Yes. Um. Yeah, send this one. Map okay, so that just gives you a list of where everyone is, basically. But I want to find... Is it around? this? Oh, maybe I've turned the mob, knob of prize will come out. Alright, let's give it a shot. How'd you do it? Oh. Oh god, I thought that was a dildo at the back line. So I know who's gonna want the second one. Also, if you put more coins in at a time, it reduces the, the peep sound. But at the moment, we don't need that. Actually, yeah, I want to talk to um, her. The, like, clued up one. The one who loses shit. Get some more info from her. Where is she? Where are you, darling? Where'd you go? Can't find you. Where is she? Oh, okay. Why? Why is Hope Speak Academy like this? Very bizarre. Why? Wait, can I not spend time with her? Okay. Let's just test it out with. Okay, let's go to the map. Because I don't want to talk to those two. Let's try Bioka.
Can we talk to Ryoko? <laughs> Hello there, listen. Who are you again? I apologize for my poor memory. It's so hard to remember things I don't care about. Okay, so now I can't. How do I fucking spend free time again? Escape power up here. No, 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 no. Am I meant to talk to someone specific this time? Okay, let's try with someone we've actually seen. So let's go with, um, I don't know. Oh, no. Can't speak to him. <laughs> Alright, let's just do a sweep left. You know what? Let's come on, dude. Hey, come on. Stop fucking around. Okay. What the hell is going on? I'm gonna quickly scope this out. I'll be back. I guess I should press the doorbell. Hmm, so I don't circle for a while. You know, Makoto. I'm so anxious. I'm. You feel really am a Hmm, so I don't circle for a while. Time out of your day like this. Good choice. Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. So I have to give Sarah a present. I did my best to come first here. Second, I grew a little closer today. So I'd give Sarako a present. Ooh, that's something I need to know. Present. Gives me. Present. Gives me. Present. Gives me. Just a second. You know what? So let's just guess. Why is it so slow? Sure, let's give it a lap. 
as you know, it's not. Because I have a feeling she'll just accept anything we give her. So let's give her the seeds. Huh? <laughs> you are cherished this forever. So this means you liked it. Um, Mikado, do you think you can make time for two of us to talk? Well, what's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Well, well, it's just, I guess, that... Was kind of... Well, it's just, I, I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um, if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. Circa. Standing here face to face and hearing us say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here was what saved me. But really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile, that mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know. I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you had never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Because hey, um... I looked at you all the time. Aww. Oh, you, you, you fucking stalker. You fucking stalker, mate. I was always looking for an opportuni opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But since I, I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Do you remember during our first year of junior high that huge bird wandered in to the school pond? Actually, now I think about it, I do sort of remember that. Something like, like that. It was like how the fairy tale turtle once every million years, that bird had once every thousand. A huge bird wandered in the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been. A sparrow? A sparrow, right? Hey, um. The sparrows are really coming around now, right? Yeah, the whole flock. Oh, fuck you. I was like supposed to know. Oh, but sparrows do show up in all kinds of fairy tales. Like that one, the Kung Cap Sparrow. Yeah, true. Mm. But no, the bird we saw that day was a lot bigger. A huge bird wandered in school during our. I think it might have been. Heron, Crane. Fucking hell. I don't know my birds. It was Crane, wasn't it? No, not like that. <laughs> it was a crane. It walked just right into our pond. That's right. Ah, oh, shit, really? Okay, so we've run out of space. That's what it was. So it was so big. Teacher had no idea what to do. But you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. It made me do it. I should say thank you then, but if it's okay, can I do it now? Thank me. I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return a favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> Just kidding. Y yeah, I kind of figured. Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd meet again, met again at the train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. Maybe, but still, I'm sure you'll help me find my way out. Just like that crane, you'll save me. I'm just intuition, you know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's something I can do, I'm going to do it. I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of ours makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Sakura's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked a skill, but Lady has a voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. 